On December 31st, 2023, Dwayne Johnson and Danny Garcia announced that the USFL and the XFL had merged, creating a new rock baby, the United Football League. As when two companies merge, there are bound to be cuts and the UFL is no exception. Gone are the New Jersey Generals, the Philadelphia Stars, the Pittsburgh Maulers, the Houston Gamblers, although the Houston Roughnecks will remain, the New Orleans Breakers, the Orlando Guardians, the Seattle Sea Dragons, and the Vegas Vipers. But this new distribution is Eastern heavy and leaves the West Coast looking over the fence wanting to play. Toasty! I can easily envision a total of 12 teams playing a 10-week unbalanced schedule on Beyondre, and these are eight cities that I could see filling those spots. Number eight, San Francisco, California. The home of the San Francisco Demons of the original XFL played their games at then Pacific Bell Park, bringing Raiders and 49ers fans together in harmony, which was the fifth sign of the apocalypse. It's doubtful that the Giants would want to lend their stadium to an outside factor during baseball season this time around, making finding a place to play the biggest hurdle for the Bay Area to snag a team. Number 7, Reno, Nevada. The biggest little city in the world is home to gambling, the National Bowling Stadium, and an In-N-Out Burger. Plus the fact that it is the last city in Nevada before California on the I-80 East-West Corridor and is only a couple hours from Sacramento, this could be a prime major league market with a Nevada presence without the Vegas obstacles. Number 6, Portland, Oregon. This might be a tough sell, as Seattle is almost as weird as Portland and they didn't survive the chopping block, so spring football in the Pacific Northwest is a long shot at best. Shout out to Boise, Idaho is a long shot maybe as well. However, there is still a football base, and with the potential for an East versus West beer snake rivalry with DC is kind of the only interesting thing about this choice. Number 5, Salt Lake City, Utah. Salt Lake is an up-and-coming city in the southern Mountain West region attracting Major League attention. Rumors persist that they could be on the shortlist for a Major League Baseball expansion, and the Utah Jazz has been a fixture for decades. The cold mountain air and snow-capped mountains in the background would lend an awesome visual for a backdrop that screams spring football, and the fan base for professional sports is there. Number 4, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Another almost there major league city, OKC is already the home of the Oklahoma City Thunder and is right there in the football breadbasket, so selling spring football would not be a hard sell. Plus with three Texas teams, this would add some spice to a southern tier of the league. Number 3, Kansas City, Missouri. I know, I know, KC already has a few of these, and this guy, and this guy who's dating this chick, who cares, as well as Ant-Man. Kansas City makes sense as a regional opponent to the St. Louis Battlehawks, regardless of conference, plus the Royals are projected to suck again for the next 40 years, so why not give the citizens of KC something to look forward to come April. Number 2, Louisville, Kentucky. Nashville has an NFL team. Memphis will have a team in the USFL Conference, so another regional opponent in the XFL Conference can build a natural rivalry, plus draw fans from the close-by Indianapolis and Cleveland metro areas, as well as providing a natural opponent for Detroit. And number one, Buffalo, New York. I almost went with Toronto on this list, but didn't because this early into the merger, going international might not be the best move. However, Buffalo is right next door and is already home to the Buffalo Bills and the Toronto Blue Jays minor league baseball team, the Buffalo Bison, since 2013. Plus, this adds another regional opponent for Detroit and DC. The difficulty here is similar to San Francisco, as finding a cost-efficient stadium to host might be the biggest obstacle. Those are my eight cities that I can see the UFL expanding to. What cities did I miss on my list? Let me know down in the comments below.